I'm recording this video for my own benefit, just as a reminder of the following issue. Um, I have a pivot table and I want all of my columns to show up in case I want to apply a filter. So the issue is that when I wanted to go to the to my options and make the all of the data um, show up, this this boxes were not available for me. And I wanted to I wanted to find out why. So on this web on answers.microsoft.com is I found the explanation provided by Tina Shen. And the reason for this is that when you import and you build the connection with your external database, if you add this data to the data model, then you will you will um, you will find grade out the field um, the checkbox on the field settings. And well, this is important because if if like me you're trying to build um, a graph or something, whatever product you're working on, and you require external formulas to exploit the, 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 the calculations you're doing on your pivot table, well, what, what would happen is that if you apply a filter, and let's say there's no data for that particular column, you will just lose that column you will not have all of the columns available and because of that your your formulas here will will not work because um, obviously if you lose a column then all of the information will move to the left and the solution for that is that is as explained here you just don't import, you just don't add the data to the data model. Model. What that means is that when you create the connection, don't click here. This checkbox right here says add this data to the data model. If you don't check this, what will happen is that you will create a connection like so. And once that connection is created, you can just load that to a pivot table or a graph, right? But again, just don't click here. If you click on that checkbox, what will happen is that within your pivot table, you will not be able to go to the field configuration and make all of the columns available, even though. Um, in case there's no data for that column. So by not clicking on that checkbox, this field is now available. And thanks to that, it doesn't really matter what filters I apply to the whole pivot table, I will always have all of my columns available. Those being able to render my, um, my graph as um, as I designed it because all of my formulas will have a column to exploit and, um, and will um, fixing the issue. So I uh, hope this helps someone else and um, as I said at the beginning this is um, I, I recorded this video just so I remember what I did, how I did it, right?